Good morning, Hope Savara here, and today you're joining me because we want to work on your neck and shoulders. This is often an area that many people carry their stress and tension, and for many of us, this is becoming so restricted that it's manifesting into headaches, it's manifesting into teeth grinding and jaw clenching, and we find, at least for me, that when this area is so restricted, I just don't feel good. I feel agitated and irritated. And so opening up the neck channel is also opening up our throat chakra. It's opening up our heart center. It's allowing us back and neck relief. And we just sleep and feel and live just a better quality life. What you'll need today is possibly a cushion to sit on. So if you're someone that maybe is a little bit stiffer in the hips, we want to be able to have the spine upright. I call the knees then being like elbow rests. Feel free to get on a cushion. And I'm going to turn sideways. And when you sit on the cushion, just kind of sit towards the edge, or if you need multiple cushions or multiple blankets, so that the body can be upright. Now, a little thing I want you to pay attention to, and if you're someone that does or practices meditation, this will also be beneficial. Make sure that when you're sitting, you're not overly arching the lower back. Just keep that navel point to yourself and keep that energy center to yourself as you sit on the floor or on your bean bag. Sometimes I find that it's just nice and comfortable just to sit on a beanbag regardless if you need it or not, just to have those sits bones elevated and the knees relaxed out. So let's start off by sitting in the upright spine. We'll work with the neck first. On the exhalation, drop the chin to the chest. Now as you drop the chin to the chest, relax your shoulders. Interlace the fingers at the base of the skull, the occipital bone, and you're going to resist your head into your hands. Nice, calm, deep breaths. So inhaling through the nose, really drop the shoulders away from the ears and neck, exhaling through the nose. You can experiment with slightly rounding the body or sitting more upright. So see if you can find that area through the neck or possibly down the spine itself where you just feel that channel open a little bit more. Now very kindly and delicately you can turn the head right or left and you might notice that one side of the spine is more emphasized in the stretch than the other. Utilizing your breath, most importantly, to find relief. Again, we want to make sure we're not creating tension in order to release tension. Exhale, release the hands to the knees, and inhale, bring the head upright. Awesome. All right, arms are going to come behind and interlace your fingers. So if this was my back, my fingers are going to lace and knuckles point to the back behind me. As my arms interlace, roll the shoulders open and now take your fists off to what would be your left side and we're going to point the fists forward. Now I recognize that not everyone might be able to do this. I have a little longer arms, so it's kind of a little illusion. If you, you are behind the back, I'm okay with that. I want you to try to open your right shoulder as you sit nice and tall. And then when you're ready to, look over your left shoulder, making sure that you're not lifting the chin or tipping the head. I want you to have a nice neutral neck when you turn to the side. Now as my knuckles hug gently and kindly but firmly alongside my left side, I'm going to open my right shoulder channel so I can really feel through the chest and through the pectorials Remembering that the pectorials attach at the sternum and then move out into the shoulder. And so inhaling through the nose, nice and upright with the body. Exhaling through the nose, relax your left shoulder as well. And maybe just take a moment here. What are some of the things that you're currently carrying with stress or tension? And how can you facilitate and create an opportunity in this moment to let that go? Feel the release in your physical body. Now staying here, exhale, tip the head off to the left now. So my left ear is going to come to my left shoulder. We're dropping now my right shoulder heavy, almost like there's a sandbag on it. And really create the nice release here, typically from behind the ear, down through the side of the neck to the shoulder. Now no numbness and tingling, so if you're feeling any sort of like falling asleep arm symptoms, release that right arm either staying here or you can change up the release and extend out through the heel of the right hand. So now we're opening through the neck channel and flexing through the hand as we drop the ear to the left shoulder. Finally, if your body gives you permission, left fingertips to the right side of the head, gently draw the head away from the shoulder. 
Nice deep breathing. If I very kindly and gently turn my head, either chin down or chin arching up and out, my arm can move back or front, even turning my fingertips, maybe towards the back of the room. I'm gonna notice that stretch change down the side of my neck. Stay with your breath. Nice deep inhalation, you're doing great. Nice deep exhalation. And what you might find is tomorrow you're a little bit stiff or tight from this. So definitely, if you can, practice this again tomorrow or maybe even the day after until you feel like the neck channel is a little bit more open and a little bit more free. If you do a lot of driving or a lot of sitting at the computer, we tend also to store a lot of tension there. Nice. All right, hands to the knees. Exhale, roll the chin to the chest, pause here, and inhale, bring the head back up, right? Just a nice way to bring the head to center. Hands come back behind again. Now, if you recognize how you always lace your fingers, try to lace them the unnatural way now. It's nice just to have that good balance. Roll the shoulders open without thrusting the chest forward. Now, fists are going to come over to your left, I'm sorry, your right side, right rib. Roll the left shoulder open, sitting tall, I'm using a little core strength to help me sit upright. Relax your right shoulder down. Nice, this might be enough for you, depending on what you're coming from. Maybe you're rehabbing from an injury, um, maybe you're feeling a little sore from something yesterday. Feel free, you don't always have to keep going, keep going, keep pushing. Remember, listen to your body, what is it telling you? Layer by layer, release. All right, we're gonna look over to your right. Notice how I'm not tipping my head, but full rotation, so my chin is trying to stay parallel with the floor, and the side of my head is trying to really open, it's almost as though there's a wall there for me to rest my head on. Now peel the left shoulder open even more. Inhale deeply, let there be breath through your lungs. Exhale completely. Not every single stretch and every single pose needs to be zero to 60 extreme. Allow there to be a subtle stretch and know that that's leading you into something much deeper. Inhale through the nose, be where you are. Exhale through the nose again. What do I need to let go of from the day? Gently now, start to drop your right ear to the shoulder. I definitely know which side of my neck is tighter. And so as you open through the left channel of the neck, drop your left shoulder. Remember that sandbag image I gave you? Any numbness or tingling that's coming on that left arm, release the arm immediately and allow the shoulder to open. Keep with your breath. Keep with your breath. Nice. I willingly and consciously release any tension in my physical body, any tension in my mental body, any tension in my emotional or spiritual body. Sometimes we've mulled over it for so long, it almost is scary to let it go. We want to, but in our mind it's difficult. Keep the head at the side and extend the left arm, reaching through the heel of the hand, relax your right shoulder. If and when you're ready to, I can turn my head, but I'm gonna move slowly because if those muscles along the side of my neck are tight and I move abruptly, you don't want that little pinge or twinge and that doesn't feel very good. So make sure movement is slow and mindful. If your body gives you permission, bring the right hand over to the left side of the head and breathe. So if I bring my chin down to my shoulder and chest a little bit and gently draw, I'm definitely feeling more of the back of my neck, my trapezius up to the base of my skull. And excuse me, for me that feels really nice. Maybe if you tip your head up and open, you're going to get a little bit more into the scaling muscles on the front of the neck and you're definitely noticing what's called our sternocleidomastoid SCM down the front of the neck to the clavicle. So you can find those sweet spots or those hot spots and breathe. Don't avoid those. Move in slowly and mindfully. the chest and then bring the head upright. Why am I having you roll the chin to the chest? Because the muscles that you've just lengthened and stretched then don't have to all of a sudden start clenching to bring the head back upright. You're just giving them some time to kind of find their new role. 
Now, two to one ratio says what we do to the maybe tighter or weaker side, we do that twice. So for me, I'm gonna be working with my right side and my neck. And if that's for you, great. If not, definitely assess the opposite side. The side that you're gonna be stretching, your fists are moving to the opposite side. So my hands are gonna come behind and come over to my left side. So mirror image would be your right side. All right, let's slowly look away from the open shoulder. Take a few good breaths here. Hopefully it's a little bit easier the next time. And depending on what kind of restriction you're working with, it isn't uncommon to feel the restriction also on the side you're turning to. All right, head dips to the shoulder. Hopefully that transition is a little smoother. Or maybe you're noticing you're able to get a little deeper into some tender areas. This tension no longer serves you. This tightness and restriction is only binding you down. Again, whatever is heavy on your shoulders today, you can choose to allow that to kind of set itself free. Give it back where it came from. And at least for this practice this morning, letting it go. All right, arm releases. Extend through the heel of the hand rather than just let the arm be kind of dangling. Create that space if you're ready to. Hand to the side of the head. Really paying attention now. We came, come from a Western world of kind of forcing it and pushing it. So definitely those rules do not apply here. Nice deep breath. Continue to channel breath. Space. And allow that space to come in. And kind of come to the place in your practice. The more you come to your mat where it's like the hurt's so good. It feels so good but it still is tension and it still is tight but you notice that your mind start, mindset starts shifting. And you know the benefit. Nice work, hands to the knees. Again, remember we're exhaling, rolling the chin to the chest, pause here. Inhale, bring the head upright, smile. And just turn the head side to side, give the neck a chance to regroup. Awesome. All right, our last one for the neck in this series is gonna be the head, dropping the head back. I also like to be very cautious with this because it's not just a throwing the head back because the cervical column is a vulnerable area. I'm actually going to turn sideways so you can get a better profile and see what I'm doing here. You can also be doing all these movements in a chair too, so feel free if you feel like oh, I can't get down on the floor, no reason to keep you from doing these neck, neck exercises. Shoulders stay dropped down, that's going to be one of the biggest things you want to pay attention to. And keeping the back of the neck as open as you can, even though you're compressing on it. Relaxing the front of the chest, open your jaw, and as I open my mouth, keep the mouth open and you'll tip the head back. Now as you tip the head back, once it's as back as far as you can go, you're going to close your mouth and try to push the bottom jaw up towards the ceiling. So now I'm going to do it without talking. So inhale. And then exhaling again, push the bottom jaw towards the ceiling. Keep going with that. Now if you subtly shift your jaw, your mandible, side to side, you might notice that the different scaling muscles on the sides of the neck feel really good. A student of mine a long time ago called this the gobbler stretch. And it seems the opposite would be true. The more I stretch my neck here, actually the more taut the skin stays. So another good reason to do this. Let's see if we can go two more breaths. Now to come up, use your shoulders to lift the head and then drop your shoulders right away. Nice work. Feels good. Come back to the mat and come back to a seated position. Great job. All right, so as I come into seated position, take your strap now, and I just like to fold the strap in half so there's not all this dangling stuff. Grab the end of the strap with your left arm. Left arm comes straight up to the sky, rotating the tricep forward towards me, and the soft inward part of the bicep towards your ear. So the part of the arm that doesn't get sunlight, or mostly doesn't get a tan. And then bending the elbow, now for a lot of us that are tight in the shoulder or tight in the tricep, the arm wings out like a duck wing. And I want you to turn that guy forward like you're going to write on the chalkboard in front of you with your tricep. Opposite arm comes back and I'm going to walk my hands comfortably close. I'll show you a side profile in a second. Making sure of a couple of things. One, the bottom shoulder cap is trying to actually roll open. 
So I'm gently pushing my fist into my rib cage behind me, not to flare the ribs forward, but rather to help the pectoral and the shoulder to open. This is great for rotator cuff, not easy, but over time you'll definitely see it as beneficial. Now if I turn backwards, your hands may touch. Now my hands can touch, but then I can't move. I'm reaching up through my top elbow as I gently draw down with the strap behind. Nice. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling, stay with your breath. So think long, keeping the front rib relaxed down so that we don't get kind of this um, little cheater way of feeling like we're lifting the elbow higher when really it's just our rib cage lifting. So keep the torso nice and structurally sound. On the next inhale, if your neck gives you permission, look to the right. Remember what I said about leaning the head. So keep the head upright and really reach through your left tricep, your left elbow, and drop your right shoulder open and down. Full inhalation, full exhalation. I have an open channel, an open vessel. Hold that image. Nice job. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, slowly release the arms. Nice job. Take a moment, that bottom shoulder might feel a little tight or a little stiff. Just roll the shoulder gently and kindly until you feel like it's becoming your own again. Great work, let's try the opposite side. Now for those of you that do have tighter deltoids um, or a tighter upper trapezius area, this is going to take time for you to keep working on. So don't be discouraged. Make this a part of your regular routine, especially if you're doing a lot of weights with the upper body. Um, you're into a lot of chaturangas, handstands, those types of things. Keeping the channel of the upper body open will only benefit you long term. Alright, arm comes up. Remember to set the shoulder in place before you even bend the elbow. So I'm turning, I'm even going to use my hand for help, so I can feel the broadness of my right scapula, what will be your right scapula, on my upper back. Bend the elbow, my elbow points up, my tricep would almost be like an arm that I'd sleep on. And then sliding my left arm up and bringing my body upright. So left shoulder rolls open, your left shoulder. And as I sit nice and tall, I'm feeling that openness through the armpit, through the tricep, and for some of us, maybe even through the lower back, because our latissimus dorsi muscle attaches on the arm bone, really close to the shoulder. Inhale through the nose, stay with your breath. Exhale through the nose. You can ask yourself in every posture, am I feeling something? And if the answer is yes, you're in the pose. Tension is not an option. So it's okay to feel restriction, but then channel that restriction with your breath. If you're ready to, turn the head. Now you might find that one side turning the head actually maybe doesn't do as much and you prefer the head forward. For me, I actually like the head forward when my left arm is up. So I'm just going to stay looking forward. Inhale through the nose, relax your jaw. Exhale through the nose, stay with the breath. I have an open vessel. I am willing to receive. Now exhale, slowly release the arms down. Take a moment, roll the shoulders. Nice work. All right, two to one ratio. Which side do you want to address again? And feel free, maybe in your mind you're like, it's always my right shoulder, always tightness. But today you're feeling more in your left. Base it off of what you're feeling today and know that you'll find balance better for tomorrow. So I'm actually going to work with my left arm again. So left arm comes up. Rotating the tricep, bending the elbow. This in itself is a challenge. Bringing the arm around. Now, if your opposite shoulder is a little stiff, you might find that it's not easy to bring the arm up the back. But I do want you to have a fairly close hand connection on the back. Not that the bottom arm, I'm going to turn around again. Not that the bottom arm is way down here and you're just trying to leverage and pull. I do want you to benefit that bottom arm shoulder as well. Not that it's just all about the top shoulder. So just recognizing that and honoring that in the body. Let's take a couple more good breaths here. You're doing good. 
And again, we're not forcing, we're not trying to rush this. You've set aside the allotted time necessary to work on your shoulders today and know that that will benefit you in the long run. Nice, and now let's slowly release, exhale. I'm sitting on my strap here, so let's move that off to the side. Roll out the shoulders. And again, like I said, you can be doing all of these in a chair, preferably not the couch. How you want to be able to be sitting upright. I'm actually going to change my seated position, which you can do with me as well. If you find that you would rather stay sitting like this or legs extended or get a chair, feel free you can do that. So I'm going to move my bean back and I'm actually going to sit in hero's pose. You can either sit on the heels or you can sit onto the floor uh, right between the heels. Now rule of thumb though, make sure you're not hovering either on the heels or above the floor. Wedge something under your backside in order for you to sit. Otherwise, all of that tension is held in the knees and that's not really something that we want to do for our body. Thinking about where the torso is. Now, if I sit onto the floor, it's like, yeah, I got onto the floor and as excited as I am for you for that, I want you to make sure that your front belly is nice and open and long. Sometimes that just means that you roll up your sock and you get that sock under there or an edge of the cushion and all of a sudden you're much more upright and alert. All right, so we're gonna work with Eagle. So just the arms, arms are gonna open like a cactus. And from that cactus position, take your left fingertips and draw your left arm under your right arm over. So I'm gonna to try to wedge my elbows to touch, recognizing that not everyone has kind of slender arms. You might have both your bicep muscles or even upper shoulders a little tighter. So this is all you can go to. So one, we're either gonna to try to just tuck the tops of my hands together and I can feel that in my upper back quite a bit. Or two, grabbing the strap we can also hold that strap tightly to create a little bit more um, tension, good tension, to hold the body. You might also be able to take your top thumb and just grab hold of it with your bottom hand. Eventually, you want to be able to get the palms almost into a prayer position. Once my hands are there, I'm going to have the continual intention of continuing to spiral the arms. Now, as I do that, inhale, bring the arms up towards the ceiling, keep the shoulders relaxed down. And then exhale, anchor your shoulders and really feel the tops of the neck stretch, tops of the shoulders stretch. So inhale, coming up. Broaden the upper back, feels really good. Exhale, lowering down. This might be a good um, computer break during the day. Inhale. If you'd like, just close your eyes and feel your body. When is the last time you connected? Exhale, I'm an open vessel. One more time, up and down, inhale. And exhale. And staying here, just open and extend your arms forward for me. Let's hold here and breathe. Four. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders. Three. Good. Two. And one. Release the arms up and open. And just move the heart forward gently. Palms flex. And exhaling cactus. Right arm under. Tops of the hands, grab a thumb strap or spindle the palms, broadening the upper back, feeling a nice stretch through, hopefully, the deltoids and through the upper neck. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. And exhaling. Make sure when you lift your arms, you're not taking your shoulders with. Keep them always anchoring. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Keep breathing. Last one. Now slowly inhale, extend your fingertips towards me only as far as you can go. Inhale through the nose, shoulders stay down. Exhale, let's go four. Keep breathing, three. Move to that place where you feel a little challenged, two. And one, release the arms, inhale. Open the arms up, heart moves forward, flex your palms. And exhale, bring the hands to the knees, roll the shoulders. Hmm. And just notice the freedom of the upper body. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. For more information, visit my website at hopesavara.com. 
Um, I also have a Facebook page, Core Functional Fitness by Hope Savar, where currently I'm advertising a free video series I'd love for you to sign up for. Um, you get great core tips every day in your inbox. And I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you have something that you're going through that you'd like to share with me and I can maybe help you through video or blog. Um, or also maybe you'd like to have me come to your town. So feel free to send me an email or respond to this video, info at hopesavara.com. And I can't wait to see how your growth and journey are taking you in this lifetime. From my heart to yours, from my soul to yours, move forward in openness today. Namaste.